a Tucson neighborhood with a strange problem, and it's all caught on camera. What on earth are these guys doing here? That home video is quite a sight, and the story behind it is, too. Yeah, imagine waking up to see that in your backyard. Well, neighbors there called us asking for help with their unusual story. Not on your side's Kevin Keen answers the call on special assignment for tonight's investigation. Jennifer, this story has fences, finger pointing, and a lot of cows. I tried to get to the bottom of it all, and that is hard to do while keeping a straight face. Welcome to Sycamore Park, a pleasant, pretty peaceful place. It's like, come out and play. But this Tucson neighborhood has a secret. You can hear it, hear them from time to time. The cows. <laughs> But they're cute. <laughs> and they come over here in the grass and just hang out. Cattle caught on home video. Here's the cows. A dozen munching on the baseball diamond. I don't know how close I can get without freaking them out. Or freaking myself out, to be honest. They've shown up off and on for more than a year now. How the heck do they get in here? Well, Sycamore Park, south of I-10, off Kolb, is surrounded by grazing land on all but one side. There's a barbed wire fence, but someone keeps cutting it. Lots of someones. So we did have a vehicle come and tear this completely out of its post. Just look at the damage. The homeowners association set up a camera, catching cars, trucks, people, and ATVs driving over the fence to get to state trust land and have some fun. The cows have fun of their own. And the cattle were coming in here all the time. And then this just got repaired about two weeks ago. Oh my gosh, look, there it is, there it is. They find a way to get in and leave something special behind. It's nasty. They poop everywhere. Because when we play football, uh, no one wants to step in there or get tackled into it. Take a walk, it's everywhere. One second. Watch out, cup. <laughs> Why does this happen? Is the area open range land? The Homeowners Association says no. Tucson has an ordinance that says no cattle in the city limits of Tucson. Uh, cattle, we can't just have a cattle drive down Congress. The rancher says the cut fence, not his problem. He points to the HOA. The HOA says it's the rancher's job. All kinds of agencies are involved. The State Land Trust, Tucson Police, and a bunch of others. <laughs> No one wants to fix the fence. Get this, replacing it with stronger materials would cost tens of thousands of dollars. And watch, they can stampede when herded. Police say it's just not safe, so we stake out the neighborhood. If you can see there's a house right there, and then just 100 meters maybe toward the desert. Cows on the wrong side of the fence. Well, I don't know how much more evidence you need that the cows were here last night. It's right there, and it's fresh. It it does fertilize the grass, but it's pretty gross. This time, like many before, the rancher rounds him up. His name is Mick Claves, a man of few words, at least to us. What do the residents do? Is it, who's, whose fence is it to maintain? It's on their property. Meanwhile, the cattle keep coming. Count them. One, two, twenty head. They kept multiplying day by day. We may call after call to every agency. Tucson police finally saying they'll impound <laughs> the cattle if the rancher doesn't round them up fast enough. Serious stuff, but there's a bit of humor with a cow marching across the crosswalk to get to the to get to the nice grass in the common area. A problem Tucson could see more and more as the city spreads into the country and the cows <laughs> go where the grass is greener. The root cause of this hilarious problem, of course, is, is criminals. They're cutting the fence, right. the cows are getting in, and so TPD is stepping up patrols there. And if anyone sees the culprits, you're asked to call 911 right away. I mean, we can't have the cows go to impound. No, that would be a sight to see, but, but it, hopefully it won't get to that point. Let's hope not. Kind of gives new meaning to that whole joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the cow cross the road? to get to the green baseball diamond. That's right. All right, Kevin, thank you. This story came to us from one of you, our Not In Your Side viewers. If you have a problem you want us to tackle, as you can see, we're willing to tackle just about anything. You ask, we investigate. Email us, news at kega9.com or call the Not In Your Side line, 290-7726.